In this video, we're going to talk about star points in Fusion 360 forms, what they are, why we have to have them, and how we can work with them. Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design, and in this video, we're going to cover star points in Fusion 360 forms. Now, these have come up in pretty much every forms video we've done because they're on pretty much every design. So we want to talk about what they are, where they show up in our designs, and how we can work with them. So first, I'm not going to put a bunch of links to data sets in the videos. These are all data sets with the exception of one that we've seen before. So we're just going to talk through what these are without really following along because we're not modeling anything. So first is this BMW M2 bumper we did in our Fusion Forms Mastery series where we talked about how we could get these hard transition edges into these smooth form bodies. Now, when we have these, we've got two versions here, and each of these has star points. These star points happen whenever we're changing direction and we're maintaining four-sided patches. So one quick way that we can find these on our designs is to go to Utilities and Repair Body. Select the bodies that we're interested in, and the star points will be displayed from the geometry labels. Geometry labels will also show us T points, which is where we have a single edge dead end in the middle of another edge. And we've got L points and N guns. Now N guns are sided patches that are three or five typically. So anything that falls outside of that traditional four sided patch or face. So now that we know what these star points are and where they show up, at least on this design, let's talk about what that means for our design so I'm going to go to Inspect and Curvature Map Analysis. So I'm going to show Curvature Map on both of these, but I'm going to zoom into this top one here. Now, one of the big differences between the two designs is this star point is outside of this curvature change, this edge. And I'm going to change the display to bands, and I'm going to increase the scale. Now, what we see here is as we get close to that star point, we are seeing some rapid changes in curvature. You can see that we've got this green section, which is essentially flat. And we've got purple, which is really high changes of curvature. Over here, we've got some oranges, yellows, and greens. And what we really want to avoid is this jump as we go across edges. If we take a look up here, you can see that we've got a much smoother transition with these colors going across edges, which means that even though there is a dip or a bump in that area, it's not drastic and it's not really gonna show up as a reflection issue. If we go down to the other bumper, this one has the star point inside of that rapid change in curvature. And this is a much worse situation. So we can see here that it looks pretty bad. And as I reduce the scale, we can see that we've got an issue or an area where that curvature is going from purple and jumping completely to green right at that edge. Now there are some less important issues over here. You can kind of see that there is a little bit of a jump, but that's probably not something we would even notice once the surface gets translated. So this is the kind of thing that a star point can do, especially if it's in an area of high changes of curvature. But let's go ahead and take a look at a couple other designs. Next is this helmet sample. Now this helmet is one that we did two videos on in our forms mastery. And the main thing we were talking about is how to start and lay out complex shapes and also how to add this detail going around the outside. So when we take a look at this design, most of the design has four-sided faces or patches, as I like to call them. Now the curvature or the change in direction is fine here because we were able to maintain those four sides. However, when we get to the back of the helmet, we end up with a three-sided star point. We've got three edges coming together. Now, oftentimes when we're changing direction, we have a decision to make. Do we want a triangle in this area or do we want a star point? Now, again, let's take a look at our curvature map analysis for this design. And you'll notice that with the curvature map scale relatively low, we don't see anything in that area. As we go higher and higher, we're not really seeing very many issues. But as we get the scale even higher, one thing we'll notice is that at the three-sided star point, we have essentially what is a flat area. Now, three-sided star points as well as triangles are going to relatively be flat in terms of our design, which means that they're really not going to have a lot of curvature. So in a design like this, where we wanted to maintain four sides on all of the surrounding faces, that three-sided star point is essentially the result. 
Now I do have an example here, something that I just put together very simply, kind of replicates the top of a helmet, but this time I have a triangle in this area. Now I want you to model something like this on your own and play around, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this hole, and then we're gonna take a look at it in smooth display. Now this one does not have a star point on it, and it's because we have a triangle in this area. We're not gonna get a star point until we insert a point, and I'm just gonna go from here to here, and we insert or introduce this T point here. Now, if we take a look at our utilities and repair body, it's gonna identify that as a T point. Now, it's because we created an edge and we just simply ended it at the middle of another edge. If I click on that T point, Fusion 360 will convert it to a star point, turning it into essentially three squares working their way into a single corner. You can convert these back and forth between T and star points in some designs, but oftentimes once you convert it to a star point in a situation like this, that's what you're going to be left with. Once again, let's take a quick look at the curvature map analysis and see if this has presented any problems. Once again, you can see that it's essentially flat in that area. We've got that little green dot happening right there. So if I do control Z and take it back to a T point, and we take a look at the curvature map analysis, we can see that it's introducing some rapid changes in curvature in the middle of that triangle. Now, as we go up, you can see that that T point is essentially still staying flat. However, now we've got this issue in the middle of that triangle. And again, I mentioned triangles are going to be essentially flat. And if you look at the way that it affects the rest of the design, that is, of course, going to be a problem. So if we go to repair body, and again, we turn that into a star point, that three-sided star point is a better result for this design than a T-point and a triangle. And again, these are all things that you need to be able to look at, identify, and figure out which is going to work best for your design. So now let's take a look at another design, this MR2 Fender Flare. This was one that I did a uh, sort of a speed through video on, and we went through an entire series designing a Fender Flare that wasn't quite this detailed. But this design highlights the issue that we run into whenever we're designing fenders. Now fenders typically are going to have square or four-sided faces, and they run directly into the wheel well or the arch. But as we try to change direction to get something like a fender flare, we're going to run into star points, and they're going to happen at the start and the end of that flare. But this design is also unique because we have this opening that's right in the middle of the design, and this also has star points. So if we go to utilities or repair body, it's going to ask me to upgrade it since this one was done quite a while ago. You can see that we've got star points and we've even got a T point here where it's ending at the middle of this edge. I'm not going to convert any of these right now. I'm going to say cancel, but let's take a look at curvature map analysis and see how we're able to handle these. Once again, I'm going to go to the band style so we can really get a good idea of the difference in color. And you'll notice that the star points, at least in this intake area, are not really causing that much of an issue because the rapid change in curvature is happening well away from them. You can see up here, we don't even have any real change in color. And back here, it's still fairly flat. Now, if we go over to where the, the star point is close to the fender, you can see that that is an issue once the scale gets really high. But as it stays below 0.98, it's really not an issue at all until we really get all the way up there in our curvature. The one back here where we've got the T point and the star point close together, this is more of an issue because we are asking quite a bit in terms of the geometry in this area. We're really taking a look at what happens when that T point intersects that edge. And if we go to our repair body and we take a look at converting that T point to a star point, that just makes it a whole lot worse. So in this case, the T point is the better option. In this one up here, the star point, we really don't have much, you know, we don't have much that we can do from a design standpoint unless we add another edge. So if we take this edge and we insert it, what we're doing is we're moving the curvature away and then we can start to massage this area. Now, at this point, it still looks pretty bad, and that's because when we use insert edge, it's going to make a flat edge, and we need to work with that. I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time trying to make this work, but I am gonna just adjust it slightly, and we'll take a look at the curvature map analysis one more time. I'm gonna edit this, and bring the scale down, 
so we can kind of see what happens. So now you can see the edge that I added here, the curvature going across it close to the star point is fine. And even right at the star point, the purple looks okay. If I increase this a bit, we want to see that purple going across these edges. And you can see it's kind of stopping right here. But over here, it looks pretty good. We've got a changing curvature here along that edge. And that's something that would need to be worked on. And that's a result of that T point. But this is a design where that star point and the T point is really going to help pushing it further away from those rapid changes in curvature. So the area like the change in curvature here and the ones in front of and behind the intake scoop. So there's one more design that I wanna show. This is something I modeled really quickly to just 3D print for my kids. And this has a triangle and two star points really close together. And this is probably the worst case scenario. So if we take a look at a curvature map analysis, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down a bit. You can see that the first thing that happens at a relatively low scale is the curvature goes crazy in this area. We've got jumps going across these edges. We've got areas of low curvature right next to areas of high curvature. And as we go around the design, you can see that that happens here as well. And making a design like this with Fusion 360 forms is really tricky because we want to have a quick change in curvature, which means that we're going to have to introduce star points in areas just to get those changes. Now, this design was 3D printed, and because of that, the resolution and the issues in those areas didn't matter to me. If I was going to try to make something out of it, like in a, a molded component, that would be a big problem and it would take a lot of time to try to fix that. And usually I would do that with surfacing tools after the fact, rather than try to get that geometry in with the forms. But these are just a couple of examples where star points are going to show up in your designs, what they mean for your designs and how you can hopefully work with them by moving them away from the curvature whenever possible. If you have any questions on this, please let me know. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.